Hey, Kathy. What do these things mean? <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Hey, Kathy. I, I'm mesmerized by these little things that I don't know what they are. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. You're okay. We're all okay. <sighs> you have to work today, Kathy? Or did you get to... um? Just sit in and enjoy the air conditioning. Hi, Jan. Hi, Suzanne. Hey, Jan. Hey, Suzanne. I was like, why am I hearing us talking? But I had volume on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at that little stick elephant. Isn't he kind of cute? I found him in my stash of stuff. And I thought, hey, he looks kind of cute right there. So he found a new home. I haven't found anything for the back yet. Oh, I did put that little. I had some fabric, had little pieces of fabric that had these just in smack in the middle. So I just cut it out and glued it on there. Uh, oh, Kathy's got the rest of the summer off. Well, excuse me. It's raining right now here. Sure. It's raining with you? Yeah. It started around, well, all day long it was hazy and cloudy and real overcast. And about an hour ago it started raining. It looked like it wanted to, but it wasn't in the forecast. But I guess it forgot to look at the forecast because it just decided to rain. <laughs> uh, hey, Linda. I'm trying not to sneeze from it. I'm all stuffed up. <clears throat> So if I sneeze all over you guys, I apologize ahead of time. You better not sneeze on me. I'll hang up. <laughs> hey, look who's here, Miss Brookie. My name wasn't literal, so please don't sneeze on me. Yeah, oh, that's right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey uh, Mutt. Hey, Linda. Hey, Jean. <laughs> Hey Brooke, I tried to go and get your um your creepy baby thing and it wasn't there. What happened? Did you get banned from Etsy? Or what? <laughs> can she you block you? It? Can you email it and I can PayPal you? <laughs> what happened? People want to know. She blocked you. <laughs> Hey, I can see all the other stuff. I just can't see that one. Huh? Oh, what Jean just asked her the same thing. And she's going, huh? Doesn't she know what's going on in her own? Um... Hey, Stasha. Oh, she sadly overrode it by mistake when listing a new kit. Uh... She didn't say, huh? She said, uh. Oh, I misread that. Oh, okay. Can you fix it? Or is it too hard to fix? Or what's going on? We need to know. She's not going to answer. <laughs> She's probably pondering it. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Diana. Lisa, Lisa. Hi, Diana. Oh, now I yeah. can't make the file small enough to upload. I will figure it out soon, I hope, making her crazy. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you just need to uh, zip file it. Was it a zip file before? Uh, Jean said yes, because I need it for my crappy baby book. <laughs> Your crappy baby book? <laughs> Or creepy. Oh, she wants to fix it. I don't know what that means, but I hope you can. <clears throat> I hope you can. 
Well, you know, she's saying she doesn't want to zip it. She really wants to fix it properly. Yeah. But a lot of them, they have to zip it because it, it's, a, you know, the file's too big. Zip it. Zip it. Zip it. <laughs> hey, Leslie. There's nothing wrong with zipping. Zip it up. Because we enjoy unzipping. Speak for yourself. Oh, even zipped, it's too big. Oh, dear. She really did do something. She said it was up there before. All she can think of is they changed the size limit. So can you break it into pieces? Creepy baby part one and creepy baby part two? Mm-hmm. Or crappy baby. Yeah, there you go. Oh, a lot of them now, what they're doing is just, you're using off-sites. You know, just give you a link to somewhere else where the file is. What are you talking about, Lisa? Lisa said she's going to put up a video selling the black palas, pala, plastic <laughs> letters to alter. Putting up a video of black plastic letters. Are you talking like the kind that go on like billboards and not billboards, but um, yeah, like sort of, sort of. Grocery stores? Yeah, something, <laughs> I don't know. Not Dairy billboards. Queen. And then, <laughs> you know, the old ones that were plastic and they're about like that and they, they wrote out things. Hey, Bob. I honestly don't know. I'm just making it up as I go. Just tell them they'll pay for one and you'll email them the other. Or she can just do it half price. Yeah. Each one. I but mean, it cost for two listings. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so that sucks. Yeah. Kathy, just, Kathy D. made a decision to drastically downsize. She will sell her house and move into a senior housing on a wait list for a unit, possibly a year and a half wait. That's okay. Whoa. Wow, a year and a half wait. Well, you're going to have to have a sale. That's all I can say. <laughs> she has. She even has uh, shelves and stuff in her hallway. <laughs> She's organized, but she's got a lot of stuff. Send it down here. I'll sell it for you. Well, that way she can travel when she wants to not worry about her taking care That's of right. her. That's right. That's mm right. -hmm. And those are pretty, some of those places are pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, sell, don't sell too much. You know, you might be giving art classes, you know, in the rec room. There you go. <laughs> you might be the head of the place. Ask them if you can get a, a, story, can get right? a, a duplex yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah, they can punch a hole out and put all your stuff in next door. Hey, Lana. Lana says she got her journal and she absolutely loves it. Ooh. Lana, did you see me calling you Lola the other night? I put you in the in the drawing, and I don't know why I was calling you. Oh, see, Kathy got scared because of that fall. I don't blame you, Kathy. That wasn't fun for me either. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah, it gives you a little wake-up call, a little vulnerable. Well, then why don't you just get you a houseboy or something? Who, Kathy? Yeah. Yeah, she should. Just get you a little Cuban houseboy. <laughs> He's Cuban now? How did that happen? She's okay, Leslie, but she made a decision that she's going to sell her house and move into a fancy house, senior housing. Yeah. We both fell at different times, Brooke. She was she didn't want to feel left out, so <laughs> she decided to follow <laughs> follow my lead. Mine was a couple of point. Mine was in the springtime, right? When I fell. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she fell on concrete though. Ouch. They both fell pushing the trash can. Rosemary fell in her yard. <laughs> 
going about 90 to nothing. <laughs> and Cassie fell on the concrete pushing her trash can. That was this week that, that Cassie did. Ouch. Okay, Lisa, you do that. Put that in there <clears throat> in the group so we know exactly mundo what you're talking about. Yeah, I was okay because I landed on, you know, on the grass, which was obviously softer. And and um and Richard was standing there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but see, Kathy's taller than me, so she had further to fall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Poor thing. Lisa? What? what? What she her altered letter. What is it in there already? Yes. Oh, we know it. Well, I'm gonna go look. It's a W with wings. Oh my goodness. How big is that? How big do you think that is before she says? I would say like eight inches tall. I and believe I could fly. <laughs> and she says they're plastic. They, those are cool. How much are you going to sell them for? Okay. See, Jan Terry oh. said that's how she broke her wrist. She fell in the driveway. Mm hmm. Oh, I always use rusty stuff, Kathy. You know better than that. Oh, they're four inches tall. Well, that's a good size. Let me see. I have a, I have a yardstick right here. One, two, three, four. That's not very tall. Uh-uh. No, but it's a good size. I mean, you don't want it to, you know, like it's something you could put on your desk. You can, let's see, four inches. Yeah. My That's tongue is four inches long. That's not long at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you can wrap it around it, I guess, and move it around the room if you want. <laughs> If your hands are full, you know. I never have a milk stash. <laughs> I can keep my eyebrows tamed without my fingers. <laughs> oh my gosh. You man, you I am a normal person until I get in here, and then you just make me a oh, one yeah, sick person. Really? Blame me. <sighs> yeah, I think you named yourself Hotty Popo before you ever met me. So don't blame me. When I'd go into Brooks, I'd turn the same way. It's like, what's <laughs> up with this? <laughs> I guess it just shows you're very easily influenced. I guess so. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, ladies, those of you that were here um, yesterday, this is our, weren't here yesterday, <laughs> this is what we did. So if you want to know how we covered our book with Cantha quilt material and how we stitched it and how we put it together, well, then you will have to watch yesterday's <laughs> rerun. <laughs> and um, I was extremely busy today, so I didn't get any um signatures ready for this but i did have time to look around at around at some of the things that i already had done some jelly printing that was kind of bright and i thought would look kind of cool in here with other stuff so i don't know how many were around when i did these i i forgot i had done these i've used most of them and these are the only ones that were left this was done with a resist technique on a jelly plate do you remember that susan were you around in those days <laughs> is that with vaseline yeah yeah no but i guess that yeah these were really fun to make these the ones i really like the most they're gone i used them in journals and they're gone but um i still think the best jelly plate technique was the one you taught johnny where she ended up with a phallic image on her jelly plate <laughs> and she returned it to Amazon saying that <laughs> it's stained. <laughs> you know, only, only things happen to Johnny. Have you noticed that? 
I mean, like, it doesn't happen to, like, quote-unquote normal people. It just happens to Johnny. Hey, Journey. <laughs> yes. She'll pop up in a second. It's going, what? <laughs> anyway, I think that was the only one that I have. That's all I have left from the, um, from the Vaseline one. And and then these. Oh, were... there she is. <laughs> She's lurking. Chavez. Hey, we missed you yesterday. How's your finger? How's it doing? We won't say what Popo thought about it. Bye, Brooke. See you later, alligator. This one used that my wood stamp. That's awesome. This I think we just cleaned stuff off. I don't. I don't think this is anything. I think it was a cleanup. I think these are all pretty much cleanup pages. Oh, that was when I used my um my leaves. <laughs> Done. It was one of my stencils. This was when we were playing around with the with the um, alcohol ink. Oh, yeah. We were going back and forth between the ones I like and the ones I don't. <laughs> Same with this. Oh, I forgot to tell you there's a new video. Oh, no. Using um, kitchen bouquet techniques. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should get that to uh, to put in Brooke's new, new digital about the kitchen. About cooking and... What does she call it? I forget now what she calls it. But that would be appropriate, I would think. Terry said the doctor says he's happy with her healing and he can officially say it's going to stay attached. Yay! Man, what a relief. Yeah, because I know Jar would have just felt awful. He probably still won't eat an egg. No, he's probably going to kiss her pinky every night. Oh, God. <laughs> what hey, Auntie. Hey, hey Annie Mae. Did I say hello to Linda? Uh-oh. I think I did. But hello again. I like this. And I don't know how I did this. I like how it, you can't really see anything, but I like the color. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I like the subtlety about it. Looks like, like an old wall or graffiti or somebody person wallpaper off or I don't know, but I like it. So some of these will make it into the journal. Oops, not that one. That's not part of that. How rude. So I think I'll I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something to the backs of them because you know, this style, this, this white does not go, obviously. Obviously. And this has the, oh yeah, little elephants. So cute. Gracie. Did you see the little, latest video by the, what's her name? The fairy garden lady. What's her name? All I saw was, I'll be go I'm leaving. For yeah, the fire. Are, the fires are so bad there because she's up in Washington. Oh. That they can't breathe. They stayed oh, as no. long as they could. They can't breathe anymore. Oh, no. Yeah. So she's getting her bunny and her dog. And they're heading out for a while. Till the fires stop or burn their place down. Or, oh my God. Or the, the wind shifts. I mean, something's got to happen. OMG, it needs but, some rain. And they were showing, she was showing photographs, you know, from where she is and looking up at the horizon of the mountains and toward twilight and everything's just orange. And you can see all the smoke and all, you can see the flames, you know. So pretty scary stuff. OMG. Her bunny, her dog, and her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. These are, I don't know if you can see them. They're supposed to be peacocks. I like the one that was two back. The one that looked like it had the the, the green with the 
the lotus kind of yeah thing. yeah i like that too that's right ma'am i'd make the boyfriend stay to spit on the fire <laughs> all right let's turn up that one's turn up paisley Ooh, you guys you need to invest okay this this shape is indian <sighs> But the name of it is Paisley, right? We all know it is Paisley. And that isn't just the name of it here in the United States. Globally, it is recognized as the Paisley. Thank Your you. homework, if you choose to accept, <laughs> is to find out why this Indian design is called Paisley. Because underwear are universal. <laughs> Me, but when Betty and I were taking Sophie to the to the <laughs> X-ray place yesterday morning, they had like this contest on the radio where you had to rapid answer these questions. Mm -hmm. And so the guy DJ was asking the girl DJ who was playing for some audience member. It was like, um, "What is this? What is this? What uh, what is Fruit of the Loom famous for?" Or what does Fruit of the Loom make? And she said, uh, cereal. And, um, and, it, and he had to stop. He said, not Fruit Loops, Fruit of the Loom. And she, and she was like, cereal. And he's like, <laughs> oh, it's definitely a generational thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, someone her age does not buy Fruit of the Loom. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one too, just because it was a cleanup one. It has a little bit of everything. Yeah. I like that one. That looks good next to your cover. Hello. <coughs> I can't wait to see the red rum paper. The what? Oh, I know. I just paid for it today. <laughs> oh, Betty, Betty said she bought some. Yeah. I got my bill. I go, whoa, I went a little crazy, didn't I? <laughs> You were born that way. Yes. Well, because that other one I had bought, I used almost all of it in my past. In the journals, those... Um, Rosemary did that on her jelly plate, Janet. Using wood block stamps. Yep. Oh, Jar bought her a jelly plate. Oh. It's nice and soft too. Yeah. It yeah. Don't cut. Gentle. She can play with it. Good job. Excellent choice. Okay, so there's that. So those are a few of the ones that I did find that we already did together. So we'll be able to use quite a few of those. You know what red rum is, Annie Mame? It's murder spelled backwards, so I assume it's blood colored. <laughs> it it was but yeah didn't she say though there was a, like an undertone of or was that the other color that she said there was an undertone of pink in it for betty some. said the earlier ones had an undertone of pink but she said these didn't but if they oh. come red and some pink it won't be hard to split in this house yeah but it was funny well because it's intricate and in, what's the word I can't think of the word. Intricate. I don't know. Where it's blended in together. <laughs> I can't think of the word. Oh, man. I should not have taken the Benadryl. <laughs> Variegated. No. It starts with a inter intra something. Inter in uh, anyway. It doesn't really matter. All right. So. Um. That's what we're gonna, oh, and for you ladies that were that were here yesterday, all I did is I found this little elephant who is so cute, and I thought, oh my goodness, he matches almost matchy matchy with that. And then I got some of the um, integrated. <laughs> yeah, that's the word. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. And then I got some of um, the handmade. Um, Oh, now I'm going to say it backwards. I'm going to say this in backwards too. It's not Latka, it's Lakta, right? 
Latka. It's L A K, not L A T A K. It's Latka. Latka. Yeah, because I keep thinking of the character from Taxi, so I say it wrong. What's his name? <laughs> anyway, Latka on Taxi. Latka. So it's not Latka. It's Latka. Okay. L A C. I mean L A K. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's anyway. It's from Nepal. This handmade paper. So obviously Indian Nepal. Hello. And so then I put the little guy on there. Then I had a couple of pieces of fabric that in the in the center it had these um, this little applique. So I just cut around the fabric and glued that on there and did the same thing here on the back. And so now we're all all ready um to figure out what we're going to do with the actual signatures all righty that's where we left it any questions any questions kids <laughs> um not yet okay I'm taking a drink because my throat's very dry. Okay. So Jar is eating Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches now. Oh. Does he know how to cook eggs? They're not as good when you have to cook them yourself. I wouldn't know. I cook them myself. I tell you what, man. <laughs> There, there is a total difference in those Jimmy Dean sausage things, but Betty buys the Grand's biscuits. Mm -hmm. And she buys a roll of Jimmy Dean hot sausage and she cuts it into eight slices and she makes me eight breakfast sandwiches, puts them in a freezer bag, and I just grab one every morning and put it in the microwave. And they are so good. Mm, sounds better than McDonald's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh oh, what happened to a dog? Leslie had to go check because there was a dog setting off her ring oh. i saw this little video where the mom i guess was getting after the kids for leaving the front door open and and she ended up finding out on her camera that the cat figured out how to put his hand all the way up open the door go out but he didn't shut the door so the kids are always getting in trouble for leaving the door open. <laughs> that was a crazy chat. All right. So hey, Terry. I guess I need to figure out if I want to do some additional just plain colors as opposed to all these prints and then incorporate some of the plain colors of the prints. Maybe that's what I should do, right? I don't know. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think so too. I am Linda, but don't tell her. And, uh oh. Now what? So, and I'll do the I'll do the back on some of these too because I don't like them white. I have most of my goodies right here. And yes, it's a mess, just the way I like it. And then I know I'll clean these off on the back of some of these and we'll have some color. Here we go. Thank you, Leslie. There's the plan. You left the dog in the house? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. I see, they might a drive uh, a a road rage shooting by your house, Leslie. Uh oh, I know. Never good, never a good sign. Okay. Yeah, mine is very, mine's very artistic. <laughs> I need to go on Amazon and get rubber toenail shoes. 
Huh? Because, oh my God, it's like Betty is the Pied Piper. Every time she walks through the house, all the dogs <laughs> after her. <laughs> Ooh, this is really thick. Way oh, got a hot dog. Way too thick. Who's got a hot dog? Okay, so I'm gonna put because it's so thick. I'm gonna use the um, this. this. Carrie said her son bought Shinzi. A squeaky pink bone. I squeak it and throw it for her. When she brings it back, she makes a weird noise because she can't figure out how to squeak it by herself. <laughs> I think they make like rubber toenail covers for your dogs. Oh, see, I never heard of that. So, Betty, every time you get up, be sure and put all the dog's shoes on. Oh, dear. Another Good Lord, that's 20 nails per dog. Another job. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Another job. Okay, so I had my meeting this morning because Stasha's asking. Thank you for asking, yeah. Stasha. I didn't want to ask. I thought maybe it wasn't good news. <laughs> we didn't mention it. <laughs> so my meeting was at 10 o'clock this morning and and my boss gets on the phone and he's trying to go through the success factors website and stuff. And he says, it's not here. I can't find it. Well, where could it be? I know I approved it. I can't find it. I, it was like 20 minutes into the meeting. He's like, I'll have to get with HR and call you back. And I was like, okay. Oh, dear. So then he scheduled a meeting again at two o'clock and blah, 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 blah. So I told him I would let him know in a week or so. Ooh, now you're playing hard to get. But I won't have to deal with salespeople anymore. I won't have to deal with whining customer service. I won't have to worry about customers not liking their stuff or whatever. Mm hmm So, yeah. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's it's a it's a better thing. Well, I'm sure you thought that or else you wouldn't have applied in the first place. It'll be less stress and less hours on me. Done deal. What's this? Oh, it's too dark. <laughs> I can hear Betty in there going, Who did it? Who did it? <laughs> Which one of you did it? And she just walked through and she said, if you see one of the dogs fall out, somebody ate my piece of cake. <laughs> Another pancreas down the hole. You found it? Did you just misplace it, baby, or what? <laughs> <laughs> she goes blaming the dog. Oh, she had said it by the TV. She thought she had said it. <laughs> Man, she was getting ready to have those dogs thrown out. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about that. Less stress. I don't know about more craft time, but less stress. Well, you'll have more time to arrange um, Betty She Shed. <laughs> oh, yeah. She kind of informed me today that if I didn't make a move, she was just going to go ahead and order one and <gasps> deal with it. I was like, uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh oh That could be dangerous. They're going to see her coming a mile away. 
She doesn't care what it is. She just wants it. Uh, fifty percent of the time, Suzanne. Um, I don't know what the downside of the role is, except for like right now when we're facing force majeures and stuff, because I would be in procurement now instead of scheduling a factory to make hundreds of thousands of gallons of paint a week. Is this the one where you get to boss people around? No, I don't. I I refuse jobs like that. I don't want to be responsible for no other idiot. I mean, people. <laughs> if somebody else don't do their job, not my problem. The nice thing about procurement is the lunches and the the pies and the donuts, and then it. Oh my goodness! All the baskets that fly in there for the purchasing team. <laughs> That's the real winner for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> what can I get for lunch? And can I take some home? Oh, yeah. They always want to take you to lunch. Brads, that's right. Buy from me. Okay, so right now I'm just doing backgrounds because I'm not sure if I'm going to print on these because all the rest of them have printing on them already. So maybe no need. She needed to do one that looks like an African sunset. Who? You. We're not doing Africa yet. Oh, well, then never mind. <laughs> we haven't even. Well, then what's with all the freaking elephants? What? Oh, you're in India. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jeez Louise. I have to explain everything. Who's Louise? No, someone I used to know. Oh. You can call me Ollie tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'll skip that. Put me up there and see if they can figure it out. <laughs> see if y'all can guess my name tonight. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> anybody get it yet? <laughs> Does anybody want to get it? Um, I, just, I just assume pass. <laughs> They got it. <laughs> Carla, I heard uh, Mary Atier say she's working and taking care of her father-in-law or something. Hey, Sherry. Well, that brought Sherry out. <laughs> no mocos, Terry. <laughs> I told her I was too tired to come up with a name. And I told her you weren't tired enough. <laughs> Color do we need? Okay, I think that's enough right now for shiny stuff. Let's go over and get. Let's get some of those Arteza, Arteza something something colors. No, Amy, she was asking about somebody else that Mary had mentioned. So if I hadn't had my extra meeting today, I was going to go in and put in the group a list of the Cantha, I mean the Cantha, the Caboodle kits. Oh, that would be cool. 
I'll do it tomorrow. Because you know better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to go through all my videos. <laughs> go, when did we do that? Oh, okay. Look at the date on it. You know, all that fun stuff. I could just flip through my cart. <laughs> Oopsie. Um, ooh, green. Let's get a green in there. Yummy. Well, it's a, like a sagey green. I don't know if you yeah, like. Yeah, I it. like. No, I like sagey. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, look who's lurking. Who? <laughs> See, you better watch what you say. I didn't talk about Mary. I said she said. Well, Mary, you missed yesterday because I know you go to somebody's. I forget who. Aunt Bex, I think. But we put we used the cantha fabric, and. We made the cover to one type of cover for the journals that we're making. So we got that done and out of the way. Mary's busy. Mary what? Mary's busy busting and bashing her stash or something. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even know what it's called. <laughs> I dare you, Mary, without looking, <laughs> write down what it's called and get it right the first time. <laughs> she said she saw it at the beginning. Oh, okay. <laughs> Slash and bash your stash. <laughs> BBYS, blast, bash your stash. Her video with her cute little face up on the screen. <laughs> She's so pretty. <laughs> And her room is so organized. If you're sitting there watching her whenever she's like lighting her crafts on fire and you see the stuff on her desk and you hear yeah. her talk and she says, oh, I just, you would think that she was just in the middle of a hoarder house, but her room was very organized. Yeah. I mean, when she's, when she's there on her little square, it looks like 911 all the time. But <laughs> when she backs up, it's pretty cool. Thank you. Hey, yeah. Hudson Sailor. 54. Oh, did she get a new machine? Who? What? Bernie asked her. She was sewing on her new machine. Uh-oh. I know I heard her say the other day. Now, see, if I had my... She was trying to put that little scarf on that doll's face. And she said, if I had my sewing machine right here, I could just whip this up. But instead, she had an eight-foot needle, and she just whipped a stitch right around it. <laughs> oh, I like all this green stuff coming off. I like it. Yeah, me too. That's a good green. Yeah. Some people call it a little boring, but I call it kind of cool. Let me see what I have back here. Sorry, ladies. You know me. I'm over here doing this. If Susan doesn't tell me what's going on, I don't know. Um, ooh, that's good. I don't know. It's just playing around and all of that. Ooh, I loved your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Sounds like we should introduce Mary's needle to Rosemary's scissors. <laughs> Oh, Mary, so somebody told me that you said 
correct me if I'm wrong, that you're going to make a doll for every caboodle? Are you going like retro, retro caboodle or future boodles caboodle? <laughs> Future Boodles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. What's what's new? <laughs> Let's see what she says. Let's see what she says. People like, Man, why did I why did I come out of lurking mode? <laughs> I was never talking about about dung boodles. <laughs> We don't want any dung dolls. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's where I draw the line on my kids. <laughs> she said she's thinking of doing caboodle dolls. She's just not sure how many. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to put a list out on Rosemary's group, hopefully tomorrow, but could be Saturday, of every caboodle kit. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Annie May. <laughs> We're not oh, doing that would be, yet, okay? okay? That would be awesome. A stargazer doll. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jude. She says she only has them back to last September. Yeah, but see, you can do the list, and you have so much stuff. You could use yeah. your own stuff to do the back. The back yeah, because you could blast, bash your stash. <laughs> Into a caboodle doll from the pack. That's right. Yeah. Caboodle box 21. Caboodle box 6. <laughs> Yeah, you need to put some new things, new cards in there, new numbers. Like she didn't have enough to do. <laughs> Every time I catch her, she's writing a list. I, I, you know, like, you know how people are really into the, uh, or used to be more into the traveler's notebooks, you know, and you're supposed to, or the Midori's and all that. You're supposed to write all these things. And there's still a lot of people that all they do are those things. And I thought, man, you're so busy writing about everything. When do you have time to actually do your list, you know? And then every time I see Mary, she's writing a list. But I'm going, when does she have time to do her list? Exactly. But then the other morning I heard her say, because I lurk every morning, Mary, I'm getting dressed or I'm working or whatever. She said, I was going to make a list, but yeah, that's what I want to be doing at five o'clock in the morning is writing a list. And I'm like, <laughs> I think she usually does a list in the evening shows when she asks everybody for their ideas. I know, but when do you get to implement the list is what I want to know. I mean, like, when do, when, yeah, when do you bring out the list and do the stuff? Because she's always so busy doing other stuff. I don't see her doing list stuff. She does a lot of stuff in her stream. I know, but she, I don't think she ever does the list stuff. <laughs> she's got her own stuff going in her head. I like the doll with the with the poodle skirt. Mm-hmm. And the yeah. The poodle skirt and the one she made with the typewriter keys. Oh yeah. I got me some um pieces parts of a of a typewriter, you know, just the keys. Well, the covers to the keys, I guess, more than the actual, I don't know what you call it. Never mind. Are you making digis with those um, jelly prints? No. Okay. I don't know how to make digis. Okay, Lisa said the video for the letters is going to be up tonight at 11.15. Yay! When you, if we're, oh, you won't be here. I was going to say, well, I don't know where you are. But you can put a link to your channel. 
<laughs> Obviously, you can't put a link to your video if it's not up. I can do it. Oops, I gotta be in YouTube. I'm just going to Google and putting in Lisa Jameson. <laughs> I better be careful not telling what I might find out. <laughs> I know. We'll have her mugshot and everything. So what comes up in YouTube is Lisa Jameson missing. <laughs> She's missing in YouTube or missing in general? <laughs> Poor thing. She's lost and she doesn't even know it. It's okay. That's pretty sad. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Okay. And a few of you had asked how I did the cover. Um, where is the cover? How I did the painting on this cover, that's how I do it. I just slap on paint on here and then do that. <laughs> and you get this. <laughs> that's your tutorial for the day. I do that, then I do this. You do this, and then you do that. <laughs> and that's the end of that. See, on my phone, it lets me share the channel. On here, it makes me uh, do video. So I'm going to share a video, and then y'all can take it from there. Scan and then send us to buy them. Yeah, but that's a file. <laughs> You, you just can't like just scan them and put them up. They have to be a certain size. They have a certain this and a certain that, or else it doesn't work. And you can only put so many in a listing because of the size. Brooke just went through that. She did something and it knocked her whole whole thing out because the size changed or it didn't accept the size. I forget what she said, but Jude said, "Scan and send to us. We buy." <laughs> um. Mary said, are we supposed to jelly plate for this caboodle? No, I'm just choosing to do um, some of the pages. I want them to be bright backgrounds. Well, you know, colorful backgrounds. And for me, that's how I do everything. I don't paint with brushes. I paint with, um, with my jelly plate. I just find it easier. But you can do it whatever's easier for you. You can do it too, Punchinella. Yeah. So you like to like bring out the brush and paint. Bring out the brush and paint. Why does it have to be Russian paint? It can't be just like any old American. You can get Indian. You can get Indian paint. Okay, India. That'd be ink. Okay, India ink. Preferably indigo. I'm running low. That's the sixth color in the color spectrum. The what? The sixth color in the color spectrum. Oh. I didn't know that. Yes, it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Oh, I thought you were talking about this color. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the color I was getting out, trying to get out of the bottle. <laughs> No, that's like yellow okra or something, isn't it? Yeah, not okra. Oh, latka. latka. <laughs> yeah, more like latka. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Fisherman. He was a little weirdo. Yeah, but he was funny. Yeah, he was. They all were funny on Taxi. I love when he did his regular routine and he would do Mighty Mouse. I was just, I would, I was hysterical when he would do that. I know, but he turned out to be like a freak or something. A freak? What kind of a freak? Because he, it was like in some kind of scandal or some kind of something. I remember him being on Saturday Night Live or something. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Because he was a little psycho. Well, 
it was funny because his friends said that all of it was an act to make people uncomfortable. It were. So I don't know. Yeah. Pee Wee Herman makes me uncomfortable. Un minuto, Mr. Hubby is here. Keep them occupied. <laughs> okay. Yes, Dasha. Andy Kaufman. I was trying to think of his real name. It looks like she's using mixed media paper, Journey, but I'll ask her when she comes back. She likes that mixed media paper. Yeah, he was a lot psycho. Okie dokie, Finokies. Is that mixed media paper you're using or watercolor paper? Um, this one right here is mixed media. I've used file folders, mixed media. Yeah, I think it's all file folders and mixed media. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Are you a winner? Yeah. My husband only slept four hours last night. He goes, I am so sleepy. Earlier, he goes, I am so sleepy. I said, well, go take a nap. He doesn't like take naps because then he won't sleep at night, right? And I said, well, you've got to get rest. So he just woke up right now. <laughs> he comes over like he's a, a five-year-old. His hair is sticking up in all over directions. <laughs> and he pulls his pants up, like right under the, the man boob size, you know, on purpose. You see what he looked like. He was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> he's trying to freak me out. <laughs> like, what's his name from Hee Haw String Bean? Yeah. <laughs> like, get out of here. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sexy for my hat. Oh, there's one. Oh, I need a little spot over here. Oops. Oopsie. Alrighty. I don't know how many I need, but it's okay. We're going to keep going. That's fine. <laughs> Let's start doing the backs of the ones I already did because they're dry. So we can have something there too. A little something. Oh no, you got to do the backs too? Well, then you're going to have white, just plain old white. They dry super fast. Oh, I sent your box out today. Did you? Yeah. You didn't get a notice? I haven't I haven't checked. Oh, okay. For some okay. reason, I think there's something missing. So I think I might have another pile underneath my pile of stuff. But the pile I found of yours, it's gone. I checked on your book. I see it moved from Georgia to Arkansas. Oh, oh yeah, it was in Fayetteville, right? Oh I oh okay. Yeah, it was in Fayetteville, so I should probably get it um, tomorrow. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump. It away. It's about an hour away from me. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm going to read mine this weekend. Well, then you can tell me about it. <laughs> like, I'm not going to read. I'm just going to look at pictures. Unless I screwed up and bought you the book of the man with the tattoo on his ass. Hey, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny because when you said that, for some reason, it, it, like some kind of memory popped in my head. Like I've heard about the book or I knew someone who read the book or something. There was like, there was some connection to it. But for the life of me, I still can't figure out what it was. A week or so ago, Janet Young did a book review. And she did, she, that's where I saw it. I told you she was showing the Bantock books. 
Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, and she showed this one. honeydews this weekend. I might not get to read anything. Uh -uh. Uh -oh. I think I gotta find a she shed. Yeah, but you've looked a lot. You just gotta decide on the which one. I'm sure you've looked at all of them already online. You're gonna get them online or you're gonna go physically order it somewhere? No, I'm probably gonna physically because we have a lot of a lot of farms and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of building mm -hmm. places. So you're not having it imported through the Amish land? Well, the ones that we looked at, looked at, looked at. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you look like them. You looked at them. The ones that we looked at are, are in the Mennonite style. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. But I also want a couch. I want. Oh, this was her place. You want huh? a couch in there? No, I want a new sofa for the den. Oh, I thought you were gonna say for the dogs. No, I want a new sofa for the den. That, and that's more important to me. <laughs> well, yeah, to you. Oh no, JP and Ashley are getting a divorce. Who's that? Oh, they're one of the bachelor couples. Oh gosh. <laughs> I thought it was somebody important. <laughs> Excuse me. those colors hey how come there wasn't one on the other side how'd that happen kathy d said she's thinking about attending the amish school auction in oklahoma this september who said that kathy d the one that's downsizing oh my gosh hey krista and what's his name are still together and they were the first ones <laughs> Yeah, one out of 80. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you're going to go date 30 men. And you're going to whittle it down to four. And you're going to whittle it down to two. And you still don't know who you're in love with until the final night. Come on. Mm-hmm. All those people have agents, and they're just trying to get on TV. That's all. No, nope. they're not looking for love. He sent that guy home. Andy Wayne says, "Listen, there's downsizing, and there's Amish school sale." <laughs> Darla, your favorite child's here. <laughs> oh, hey, my favorite child. Oh dear. She's been working hard. Or hardly working. I forget which which one, but I think I'm gonna take it, Darla, but I'm not gonna let them know yet. She likes the, the lunch menu better. <laughs> hey Jane. You know, the important stuff. You know, the important stuff. Ooh. The really important stuff. I got too much. I gotta get some I gotta get some orange or something. I got nothing but green, 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 green. But why do you say that? Because Jennifer's here. 
Oh, I didn't think of that. Well, yeah, I, I did. Yeah. All what for Jennifer. Second favorite child. That just might um, be falling further and further down the ladder. <laughs> Pretty soon I'm going to be the redheaded stepchild. <laughs> Kathy D says, besides, they sell baked goods and canned stuff, and that stuff's consumable. So she will get rid of that. Oh. Okay. Yummy. That sounds good. Sounds yummy to me. Love to go to fairs and all of that. No, Carla, not. That's like when we have here, like the Greek festival and the Polish festival, and the German festival. And you get to go eat all that cool food. Mm, Greek food, one of my favorites. Oh, the stuff wrapped in the grape leaves. Mm hmm And the and the baklava. That's a little too sweet for me. My husband loves it. Oh, I can eat a piece. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Maybe one piece. It's yeah. It is sweet, right? I mean, do you think it's overly sweet? I do. Well, you have so many layers of of not sweet. Well, that's true. That's very true. The phyllo dough. Yeah. Mm hmm All right. I want a bright orange. That's Cajun, isn't it? What? That's Cajun. What? Phyllo. No, that's filet gumbo. <laughs> you wouldn't get it confused. Goodbye, Joe. Me gotta go. Me oh my oh. Me gotta go for the shiro down the bio. I think this is too transparent. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, it does. What is she talking about? That sale is so remote, my cell phone doesn't get a signal. In Oklahoma? What part of Oklahoma? I must be way down by her. Speaking of Oklahoma, where's Elaine been? Uh, I don't know. Well, she was here last week. Last week, yeah. She just wasn't here yesterday. The Amish sale. What part of Oklahoma is it in, Kathy? <clears throat> Inquiring minds and all that, you know. Um, Near Clarity, Oklahoma. I don't know where that is. I don't either. I need some clarity. <laughs> I have been a drill. Tulsa. Like Tulsa? Uh, no, I'm asking for like major cities in Oklahoma. Oh, uh, yeah. Tulsa's on the north, northern end. That's really close to Elaine. Ada. Oh, yeah. I know where that is. That's right. The Amish do not need cell towers. Oh, wow. Mel Brooks is releasing a memoir all about me. Between Ada and Duran. Okay. Yeah, I gotcha. You could just come here and go to Round Top, you know. Mm -hmm. When's that going to start? I don't know. With COVID being red yeah. now here, we're in the oh, highest. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, our governor had a press conference because ours is number two in the nation. And I forget the number was astronomical in one week, how many people are in the hospital. And there's no beds. Um, if you have like a, like a heart attack, they, they were showing the screen. Um, 
that shows like, you know, like the EMTs when they're, you know, they get called or the fire department and they have these screens of all of these hospitals in the whole state. And if it's got a red on there, it means there's no beds available. And if there's a green, you know, obviously there's, it's available. Um, and uh, I mean, you look at the screens and some of the screens are all red. There's not even one green one on the screen. And then they were interviewing this one lady, um, her brother, I forget what he has, some kind of an illness, and which requires him, when it, when it happens, he needs to get into the hospital. And um, they called the, you know, 911, and the ambulance came out, and they weren't able to get him into a hospital for 12 hours. Wow. Because there wasn't one, there wasn't a bed available. They just had to render some kind of assistance to him, wow. but he couldn't, he couldn't leave the house. Wow. So anyway, so based on all of that, um, the governor who has never mandated anything in our state came on and um, was talking, you know, about the importance, you know, what's going on and everything filling in. And you had a bunch of hecklers in the background telling them, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, blah, 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 yada, 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 yada. And I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> uh, but in our state, anyway, the numbers don't lie. <laughs> if you get sick with something, you may not be able to get into the hospital. Like, you have a heart attack? Sorry, Charlie. You know, you just got to flounder like a fish out of water until there's a room available. Uh -uh. Yeah, I think they had their round top already this year, what they were going to do. They had the spring one, right? Well, they only had it for a couple of days, and it was just the local Texas vendors. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do and set it back up until all this COVID's gone. Yeah. So this year is probably a bust. Yeah. Ooh, look, it picked up old, 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 old stuff. That's what you gonna... said. You're going to end up with a bunch of crusty bits. Yeah, I like it. Okay, what else are we going to put here? Maybe some kind of a poiple? Poiple always looks good, turn into some kind of wine thing. Yeah, my husband had some physical therapy lined up, and he canceled all that. He said, I'm staying at home. <laughs> I'll let them pull on my legs later on. <laughs> Honey, pull my finger. Yeah, pull my finger. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you know elective stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. I like it. Yeah, it looks kind of geometrical. Yeah, it looks like cool stuff. I want you to like paint a Serengeti thing. We're not in Africa oh, yet. That's right. That my God, you're in the wrong continent. Please go to Africa <laughs> next. I guess so. By the time I get there, you're going to want me to do something in India. <laughs> it's going to come to your mind. Why don't we do this? We're not in India anymore. Oops. <laughs> oh, I like these colors. Let's, let's see. Do, fill in the blanks. Let's get, a, let's get a pretty color to fill in the blanks now. Yay! Making me crave a little mm -hmm. tomato chutney here. <laughs> hey, at least it's the right continent. Thank you. And I still can't, I still cannot find. No, I didn't take a Benadryl. I'm just stuck in Africa for some reason. <laughs> I'm the one that took the Benadryl. I think it's because I've been looking at this tattoo book. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of Africa. And then yesterday when I showed you the example, it was my Africa journal. That's true. Yeah, so you might have that kind of stuck in your head. If I took a Benadryl, I would be snoring right now. 
I'm a lightweight when it comes to drugs. For some reason, Benadryl doesn't affect me at all. I mean, in a bad way, you know. No, um, it just makes me sleep. That one time when I was really bad, I took, what, two or something? Whoa, yeah. If I just take one, though, it does the job, and it doesn't do the job on me. But if I... If I take two, I get a little loopy. loopy I can loopy. take four sips of Bailey's Irish cream and my eyes go in two different directions. <laughs> Sounds like my mom. I think if she just sniffs a margarita, she's dancing. But it makes me sleep so good. <laughs> Better than NyQuil, right? Yes. Look at that. These are done. All in Oats are resuming their tour. I didn't even know they were on tour. Well, they were in February 2020. Oh. That's how long the COVID's been here. Well, they just had a big old concert here on the river just this past weekend. Everybody breathing on top of each other. Brief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do let's do another orange one. I think she already has a whole stack of um color shift metallic prints. Yeah, I've got oodles of that already. Sitting right over here. Lucy is drinking Bailey's and milk right now. Chaba's daughter, it makes her hyper when she drink, takes Benadryl. Yeah, it's so funny. Some people knocks them out. Other people, it makes them literally nervous. Yeah, Betty's sister was that way. When she would take like Xanax or something like that, it would make her hyper. I'm like, give me a Xanax. <laughs> I forget what Xanax for. What's it supposed to do? It um calms your brain. Oh, okay. So like Valium calms your your nerves. I don't know. It's 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 nice though, whatever it does. <laughs> well, it just puts you to sleep. No, it doesn't put me to sleep. It just makes me like, yeah, whatever. Oh, okay. Whatever. Oh, so it is chilling your brain. Yeah. Very good. It works. Yes, anti-anxiety. What is Daryl's house, Barbara? She says she loves Hall and Oates, and she also enjoys watching Daryl's house. Is that a reality with Daryl Hall? That's what I would think. Sounds like it. Oh, yeah. It does help you sleep if you need it. I didn't know that. I'll have to check it out. You know, I don't watch Jeopardy because it makes me feel stupid. <laughs> but for those of you guys that do, they're they're wrapping kind of wrapping it up for who's going to be the host. Do any of you guys watch it and do you have an opinion? Alex Trebek. It's kind of hard for Alex Trebek to be the host. John Kerry. <laughs> they weren't in the running. Steve, Steve, what's his name? Him either. Well, then who's in the running? 
I don't know half the people. Oh. They they had a whole bunch of celebrity, you know, guest hosts. Well, and, and not as celebrity, but anyway, different people that I guess based like auditioning and see how the uh how the people reacted because you know they were asking that person to take an iconic person's, you know, role. Maybe Monty Hall. I think he's if he isn't dead, he he's the walking dead because he's so old. Stasha said Ken Jennings. Yeah, that's what a lot of people are saying. Lucy said Lamar Burton. I think it's going to be, you know, it's one of those, um, you're in one of the, uh, one camp or the other, the Lamar Burton camp or, or nothing. And you like the football player, but you don't remember his name. Yeah, he, him, the football player, Lamar Burton, and the guy that used to be the producer, he was the very, very, very first one to substitute. I think those three are kind of like, the, yeah, the top, um, the top tier. I don't have an opinion because I didn't watch it. I just, I just read about it. <laughs> hey, Cheryl, I, I auditioned for Vanna's position, but <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> They announced it this oh, morning. It did. is an executive producer. Ah, uh, like he didn't have the inside track to the job. He was the producer of the show. <laughs> what a joke! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, shouldn't surprise me. Ooh. Okay, so now the Lavar Burton people are going to be boycotting. Because they were like really wanted him, and he really wanted it. So, yeah, I think Steve Harvey ought to do it. Steve Harvey doesn't even know how to read. He wouldn't be able to read half those words up there. Chava no says she likes to watch Jeopardy and then rewatch it with Jar and pretend she's smart. <laughs> it worked a couple of times, and then he figured her out. <laughs> Now, see, I don't get, I don't, I never get, you know, I don't know any of the answers to Jeopardy, but I do know the answers to Family Feud. I always get number one. <laughs> because I'm a little bit just like he is. <laughs> it's the only ones I can get. Okay, I kind of like that too. All right, so we got both sides of that one. Let's see which ones that we have both sides. I like to watch the, the outtakes on Facebook of the family feud when he uh, asked some of those people some of those questions it's just like oh i need one more really that's your answer <gasps> i think the nerves get to them because i i mean i'm sure they're you know they're tested to make sure they have you know at least the average intelligence <laughs> so when they say stupid stuff i think it's just their nerves i hope Let, let's hope let's give them the benefit of the doubt Oh, I, there were these there were these two guys and and they were standing up there you know where the two come one comes from each side and they do the to find out who gets it mm -hmm. and i can't remember what the question was that steve harvey asked and one guy answered it and they and it was like an x or something i don't know but then they asked the other guy and he just kept his mouth shut and he shook his head like i, I am not answering that question because it had to do with your wife <laughs> and he was like mm -mm. he's like i am no <laughs> not playing thank you <laughs> oh man stasha said everything she's reading says it's still not final Oh. Yeah, because in the article I read, it said that they were showing everybody's um, the ratings on it and that LeVar Burton's ratings haven't come in because it was just last week and they were waiting for that and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know if that was the one I read today. I don't know if that was issued today because I didn't look at the date. 
But anyway, the one that I read, they hadn't picked one yet, but that doesn't mean it was an accurate one. I defer to you guys that are reading as you watch it. <laughs> Oh, look at that cleanup. Look how cool. I like that. All right. So let's, um, let's, well, let me see. Okay. So now, oh my gosh. <laughs> what time is it? It says Jeopardy host expected to be Mike Richards. Okay. That's the, that's the producer. I think. Jeopardy fans react to reports about new permanent hosts. 12 hours ago, Jeopardy, Jeopardy viewers find out Mike Richards is the new host. Someone captioned a grab of a contestant writing, what is pain? What does that mean? Huh? I don't know. It says that Richards is in advanced negotiations for the job, but they are declining any comments at this time. So what does that mean? It says many fans call for guest host LeVar Burton to take over. But on based on recent reports, he's not being considered. Ooh. See, they so had this big old write-in thing to have him be the host. They hadn't even had him do, be a guest host. And everybody was saying, wait a minute. This guy should be the one. Is this going to be another 2020 election thing? I don't know, but the other guy has an inside shot, so I'm sure he'll probably end up getting it. They'll make it look like, you know, it was all innocent, but he gets it. <laughs> okay, so, okay, guys, I've got all these that are already done, and I really don't like the white in the back, so... I don't know if I should, you know, jelly print the back. Maybe if I should spray the back with some different sprays I have. Use the oxides on here and put them on here. What do you guys think? What do you think, Susan? What do you think would look cool? Um, for Africa, I don't know. This is not Africa. For India, for India, <laughs> India. <laughs> I like that yellow one that you passed a while ago. That looked very Indian. Okay, we have um, two votes from the from the audience. Uh oh. What is oxides? Hey, I barely know. I can't explain it to you. That was um, a Jeopardy question, Stu. That's <laughs> that's not a you can't that's the answer what is oxide oh. <laughs> i'm sorry i told you i'm on the benadryl okay bet you're not in consideration for the host of jeopardy either i know man that would be the end for sure okay let's see what do you got but the contestants are so boring well that's why you have to have the 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 host a little more lively. I mean, because they're like standing there and they're like, what is specific gravity? <laughs> well, they're nervous. What is? They're not nervous. They're just stupidly smart. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Let me put these away because I'm getting crowded in. Oh, God, there's my boss in the emails. Go to bed, dude. You know, is that the one that quit? Yeah. But he got another job in your company. Yep. But he's he's the one who gave me the offer letter today. So is he going to be still be your boss if you accept it? He will be my boss if I accept it until the new guy transitions into the position. And I I told him that that 
that has a lot to do with it too because the new guy will be here on the 16th. Well, I said, I have to see what he's like and see if I mesh with him. Oh, because you don't know him yet. Uh-uh. Oh, then I'd be hesi hesitating also about switching over with a guy I don't really know. But I have to work with him if I stay in my job I am now. Oh, well then, there you go. Annie Mame says she's taking a collage and painting art class online with Smithsonian Associates. She loves the artist who is teaching. Everyone is a real artist, but she's looking good by using oxide sprays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sasha said it's supposed to be serious. Who is? I guess Jeopardy. Oh. Well, see, you didn't even know what Jeopardy was about. Getting all confused over nothing. The artists in the class have never heard of Tim Holtz or his sprays and distress supplies. They think my backgrounds are impressive. <laughs> I know, isn't that funny? Like two different worlds, right? Okay. Yeah, they do, Barb. Oxides are cool. Ooh, that's real bright. Let's let's go with that so bright. Man, that's my pink. Ooh. I think I put too much water, but I want it I don't want it to be really bright. I'm looking for a bicycle. What are you going to do with a bicycle? I'm going to ride it. Where are you going to go? In a circle, I guess. <laughs> you take your dog with you? Um, which one? I don't know. Is there one that likes to go riding? None of my no. dogs ride a bike. I got to let this dry and then we'll go back with a different color. Oh, Lucy's got an extra bike. You just ride it on down here. Ride on, ride on, ride on. Yeah, I was looking at the beach cruisers, Terry. Can't even oh I see that one. Yeah, I was looking at the tricy adult tricycles too. You can go grocery shopping. I know that's right. I told Betty I could go pick up the groceries with that. People in this town will run you over. Yeah, that's that's the uh, downside to all that. All these big trucks going to run you off the road. I know, but all I got to do is just open my back gate and there's a gigantic parking lot behind the Methodist Church. Oh, wow. Yeah, I would like to have one of those, um, what they call it a, um, oh, the thing that you go tour downtown on, the Phoenix, or not the Phoenix, the... Those things that you stand on and they motorized. 
Oh, I forget what they're called. Yeah. Those really hurt your, not hurt, but um, it pulls a lot of muscles because you're using muscles you don't normally use. And you get really sore when you use those. Yeah, it's a segue. Thank you. Yeah. We have our, um, our, what do you call the guy? The one that gives you the parking tickets? Yep. Yeah, he's got, he rides around in one of those downtown. Yeah, those are cool. I ride horses. Hmm? I ride horses. Mm-hmm. I like the horsies. I like horsies. I had to go in today to get some banking stuff switched, and she had pictures all over the place of horses. I said, oh, do you ride? She goes, no, I just like horses. <laughs> I mean, they were everywhere. Pictures. Oh, no. Those are dangerous, Lucy. Pictures. Statues. Yeah, horses make my butt hurt, too. Oh, I used to love to ride horses when I was a kid. I rode bareback. The, the, my friend at school, my classmate, she had like four horses. So at least once a week, sometimes more, we go riding. But she rode bareback just with a, a blanket. Uh, just with a blanket, yeah. So that's how I learned how to ride was just with a blanket. It's like no, looking back now, it's like, what the heck was I thinking? Because how do you hold on to the horse? You know? Oh gosh. I guess the Well, you still have the reins. Trust me, it is not the same. It's not the same. It's like running a marathon with shoes and everything and then doing them in flip flops. So you still have something on the bottom of your feet. <laughs> it's like it's not the same <laughs> at all. I think the most comfortable thing to ride is a camel. Oh my gosh. Not if it's only got one hump. They have like those baskets. And she's back in Africa again. <sighs> no, I was just thinking of the things that I've rode and I've ridden a horse and I've ridden a, an elephant and a camel. And the camel was, yeah, hoverboards. That's what those things are called. Was the camel happy? I think so. Okay. Because camels can be kind of nasty. They, they like to spit. Yeah, me and Betty rode a camel. all these but Kathy said Peruvian Paso horses are the most comfortable to ride we're not down in South America yet Annie Mame said that she sent you two pictures of she sent you pictures of two collages she made via Etsy message don't know if you'll be able to see them Ooh. Stasha wants to know how do you tell if a camel is happy he doesn't spit on you well, then this was a happy camel because he didn't oh, spit. Yeah. All right. Okay, so now I need, where is that stuff? Where is that stuff? Yeah, a no spitter. He's happy. That's just my personal assessment, though. So it may not mean anything. <laughs> Well, she does journey, but it's not an official Etsy store. It's just what she's bought from Etsy. What are we talking about? 
because when Annie Mame said that, Journey said, do you have an Etsy store, Annie Mame? Oh. See, they already want to buy your collages. Oh, I got, I think the note said you. I got this, this, wait, let me think back now. I got so many, I got three different things in the mail. I got to remember who, what came from where. I got something from Shanta that said that it was something that you sent to me, Auntie. I think, I'm pretty sure. And it was, a, it was a peacock. Does that sound familiar? Did it have legs? <laughs> well, it was a back view of the peacock with all the feathers draping around it, kind of like looking over its side, its shoulder. So I don't think I saw the feet, actually. She said, yes, I sent some stuff from Sean to sell to you. Oh, thank you. Stuff? I got that. <laughs> Anyway, so I got to let those dry before I can put the second color on there. So that last one looked like poo. <laughs> it's okay. It'll all be okay later. It'll look beautiful later. Not to worry. But these get these don't dry as fast as the regular paint because they're so they got a lot more water content. So we'll have to put those to aside. All right. So I'm going to clean this off. And then we're just going to start putting a few little pages together and, and just see what happens. We'll we'll just see what happens. Oh, maybe I won't clean it off. I'll just let it dry naturally. And then when I go and pick it up, um, it'll have some cool stuff on there. Let me put it away. Lord. What happened? I was just reading this email and I'm double thinking that job. Uh -oh. That's not a good sign. Okay, so it's all dry. Let me get these off here. I was going to leave them, but I don't think so. Mm -hmm. You know what? I still haven't figured out how to post on Instagram. It's a it's the darnest thing. It makes me feel so stupid. You'll have to show me sometime, Susan. Very, very easy. Yeah, but it's very easy if you know how to do it. I mean, once you do it, I'm sure I'm going to go, oh, that's so easy. <laughs> It's the same as if you're, it's easy to, well, I don't know how to do it on a computer. I just know how to do it on a phone. I don't even know if you can do it on the computer, can you? I don't know. I don't know either. Because I'd love to take pictures. I mean, I, I used to do photography all the time. So, on my other job. 
<laughs> it's on my other draw. All right, so let's see if these have to be cut down or not to fit in here. No, no cutting required. How exciting. So let me just start folding a bunch of stuff and see what I want to do. I get regular papers and just have them all different sizes. You know me, I don't like all of my pages the same size. That, for me, that's boring. Boring. Lucy said you can post on a computer. Oh, okay. Good to know. Well, I wonder if it's any easier on the computer. I think I tried and I couldn't do it. I literally didn't know what to click to even post something because it had different things that you could do and none of them said post or picture or anything. I don't know what you're supposed to click on to put a picture. Oh, wow, Annie Mae, pretty cool. Oh, man, now you guys are already watching the pictures. I don't know how to. Ah. Like it becomes overnight Instagram Stone Age. Don't know how to do digitals. I don't know how to post on Instagram. You think I'd 90 years old or something. I think it's because forever I had that crazy phone that I didn't, I mean, I chose. I have to have a data plan. So I never did any of that, you know. Yeah. I just never did it. So it's all new. It's all new to me. those um porcelain lids to the uh, mason jars at that sale i got a couple they are so cool i really wasn't sure what to expect Oh, okay. It must have been when you weren't there. I forget what day it was, actually. Oopsie. And just because I'm folding these doesn't mean they're all going in there. Any Mason, no. you should have gotten one or two sample boxes, too, from Shanta. Oh, I'll, oh, I better double check. Did you get some spools? I didn't even look through the whole thing because I had to rush over here. Um, yeah, Why I do think you so. open all your mail at the house when it all but should be at the studio? Because <laughs> I'm anxious to look at it and then I go, oh, I got to run. And then I just leave it there on the counter. <laughs> I know, I'm bad. But I brought my crackers over. I oh, God, crackers and tea, and we'll be here all night long. I brought the important stuff over. You need to keep your crackers in a Tupperware bowl. They're gone. I haven't seen since last spring. I haven't seen a mouse. Because you ain't had no crackers. Well, this is true.
Hey, Allie. We're just messing around, painted papers, trying to get organized. Look at, at Miss Auntie's Instagram. I haven't got to see it yet, but I will. Was that not perforated? <laughs> it was, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, the paint must have gotten to the little perforations or something. I don't know what happened here. Darla, you being such a good girl tonight, how come? She's tired. She was salty last week. She probably rested. So I was looking at your at your book. Uh oh, Chav is just throwing up. I went and bought Tupperware rubber made when we had a mouse this spring. Caught that guy in your Tupperware. <laughs> Easier with the mouse trap. Allie said neat painting papers, Rosemary. Thank you. Um they're fun. Oh, she said she's too exhausted. Oh, see, I told you, or else she would be. All right, so all these already have something on them, but maybe not on the back. Oh, the black, I don't care. I don't need to paint on the back of the black. Say that, Susan, black the back, back of the black. Blast faster stash. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to outdo her. I don't know. All right. So all these aren't going in there. But just to see, help you see a little bit more of the, the construction of the journal. See? It just helps you see how it, how the actual cover kind of sort of, you know, will sit. <laughs> kind of sort of. Uh, so I was going to say something, but I forgot. Um, okay, let's see some black stuff I want to put in here. Oh, wow. Yeah. That goes. Oh, I was looking at your journal cover. Thank you. I was looking at your journal cover, and that won't work for me. Cause I'm not because the one that I was telling you good you're gonna do this so I'll know how to do it I'm not covering mine in fabric so that won't work so what was the one that was good that you wanted me to do I think the one that you showed me how to do that day on a Saturday you had me put some Tyvek on some cardboard oh so I think I need to do that I just need to figure out how to make the outside look good oh. well we'll be making probably another another cover besides this one um i just don't know what it is yet but because not everybody's going to want to put their fabric you know put fabric on the cover and then i think the other one will it'll still be fabric but it'll be more the uh these kind of papers plus some of the shiny sorry stuff you know because most people you know when they think about those kinds of journals they think of the more of the bohemian look, you know, with all the fabrics and all that stuff. Well, Annie Mame doesn't want to go on Facebook, so maybe you'll have to open a caboodle kit Instagram. <laughs> Well, you know, if you go on Facebook, you don't have to go public. You can just go into our private groups, and nobody else will see you. You don't yeah, have to have a public, uh, private. Yeah, you don't have to have a public Facebook page or I not page. Yeah, it's called a page, right? But you know what? I get these friend requests all the time, and I'm like, "Who are you?" And then I click on them, and then. Because we have mutual friends in the crafting community, 
but I don't even know who you are. Yeah. A lot of people, they sell stuff, you know, so they, they want to friend you so they can post, you know, like, like my, you know, like my page and stuff like that. Um, I've just, I've never done that, but I know people do that. I know what they do. Okay, these are all upright ones. Okay, it's 8.56. It's about time for Jane to pop in. <laughs> Uh-oh, Terry says, guess what? Clapping is still not a good idea. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> he's sitting there with Jar, and he's watching the Cowboys game. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not into football, Susan. You're in Me? a football state. Well, yeah, you're in a football state. I'm in a football state, a baseball state, a soccer state. Um, yeah, no. I can remember growing up, all my daddy sitting in the den going, sack him, sack him. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Betty is a big time baseball fan. Oh. Uh, her her son was like, he he should have been in the major leagues, but he chose not to. Hmm. He went to the to the world the World Series in high school and they they lost by one point to Japan. Wow. Yeah. But he still plays in the in the in a minor league, just because he likes to play so much. Mm -hmm. So she was like a like a baseball mom. Okay, so then I'm gonna put in some of these. I love these construction. You know, you know, I love these construction paper pages. So I'm gonna put some of those in here. That's gonna tone everything down. So there's going to be those. That's manila paper. Not construction yeah. paper. Yeah. Yeah. I stand corrected. Is that what you got from GT Designs? No, that's all gone. I went oh. out and bought some. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I used it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you used a lot of it in your eco dyeing. Yeah. I, I used it all over. It was so fun. So do you just have paper delivered by the reams or what? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, like this one. Oh, and I, I gotta remember. Now I forgot if I got where I got this. Oh dear. It should be in your accounting file on your accounting on your company credit card. That's right. Yeah, but it may not say that paper. Yes, Kathy, it is from Manila, the country. Here we go. At least we're on the right continent. Darla says she got some Manila paper from her. And your main said, papers and cantha quilts. The truck just beeps and backs up and unloads. <laughs> yeah, I got some pillows coming. Pillows? Mm -hmm. How come? They're different. They're for a different project. Oh, pillows, not pillow covers. No, they're pillow covers. Oh, you said pillows. Yeah, I know. I stand corrected. I can be corrected. I was trying to find. We had some special pillows. There she is. Hey, Jane. I told them it was just time for Jane <laughs> to pop in. And here you are. Here's a little popper. Like a little rabbit in my hat, Jane. <laughs> oh, you know that lady I was telling you that had the horses in her office? I was so busy looking 
you know, at the wall of, of the photographs and up on this little cabinet she had. I, so my eyes were always looking up. And then she was leaving the room and she walked past me. And for some reason, I, I'm I'm kind of weird. I look at people's shoes. And um, I do so too, but only under the bathroom stall. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, we weren't in the bathroom together. We were in her office. So, so when she walked by, I looked at her shoes and then as she, my eyes still stayed there on the ground. And as she went past, I saw over on the baseboard, she had painted a little arch, which was the hole for the mouth. And then she had some mice lined up on the baseboard painted and then a, a, a little toy little mouse on the floor right outside of the hole. And I go, oh, oh. <laughs> she has my account numbers, my social security number. <laughs> I go, uh oh, 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 dear. I said, I thought that horses didn't like mice. I thought it scared them. <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs> well, yeah. So she was kind of, yeah. She wasn't being too nice to the horsies. That's all I can say. So do all the strange people move to Fort Smith? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it's the water. I don't think they move here. I think they're born and they stay. Oh. Yeah. I don't think it has anything with the... Uh, oh, Annie Main said that's elephants. They're scared of mice. Oh, okay. Horses aren't? No, no because they live in a barn skittish. together. I know, but they're very skittish of things that move around them. Or maybe that was just my friend's horses. They did not like anything in their stall. They'd start freaking out. Well, let me see. There's a, another useless Google fact. Let me see. <laughs> okay. So we have a bunch of stuff. And where is my printed pack of stuff? Let me got to I gotta find that. Where are my little print? Are horses afraid of mice? It depends on the horse's temperament. Skittish horses may be afraid, but common ones usually are not. So yes, they can be, but not all horses are. Yeah. They may not really be afraid of the mice, just startled because mice move quickly. Yeah, I think that's what it was. They can be startled by a quick, unexpected movement, but they are no more frightened of a mouse than a curious cat would be. Okay. It's always so educational over here. <laughs> no, they don't like snakes. For sure. Jane likes the peacock feather stamp. Yeah, it's my favorite. Is that Ollie Baba with some flowers? Mm-hmm. I do believe. And then what I'm going to do. Oh, I like her. I'm going to put some of these in there. Yep. Annie Mane said, per Rosemary's instructions earlier, I looked up the origin of the paper. People. You can't. You you are going in and out really bad. Well, that's you, not me. Huh? That's you, not me. Why? Can you hear me now? Mm-hmm. It was just when you were reading whatever you were reading out loud. It went out. Sorry. Annie Mame looked up the origin of Paisley's. She said, "Cool history." Oh, good. I still say underwear. <laughs> okay. I wonder how many signatures I should put in here. 
Well, you have a one and a half inch spine, so. Yeah, I can put. I could easily put. I don't want to go too much. I'll put five, I think. I'll make them chunky. We'll do five. We'll do five. How many are we going to do? We're going to do five. I have this stamp too, which is really cool. This is the, um, you know, the the eye of the peacock feather. I think these are cool. I like working with these on the um, gel plate too, a lot. Oh. So. And you can use it next month for the eye of the tiger. <laughs> I wonder if you were gonna go there. Sure you did. I did. Darla said, where are those papers from, Rosemary? Oh, gosh. Which papers? The ones you were looking at with the girl on the front. I'd have to look it up. I don't remember if I bought this one or if it was a pre freebie thing. Uh -huh. I'll have to look it up. Jane said, you say underwear. I say under there. <laughs> Do you remember where you got the peacock border stencils? No, it was somebody, um, when I was doing my um, flowish stuff, somebody sent them to me in my in my little flowish um, journal thingamajigger swap. So I didn't buy them. I don't know where they came from. Let me Google it. Why don't you Google it? What does it look like? Do you have it right there? Mm -hmm. Nope, that's not it. The Eye of the Peacock. This <laughs> one is a Brutus Monroe Peacock. Peacock eyes. Peacock tail eye order stencil. That didn't help. <laughs> yeah. wow, that did not help at all. Wow, there's a lot of cool. Wow. And somebody's just sending me some. They were sent today um, as a gift. So next week, you can maybe play with those. Or it's, one of them is a peacock, and then one of them is a, a really pretty peacock feather. Any porcupine quills? Oh, I didn't even look any of that up. I was—I tell you, I was so busy today. I didn't do. I didn't look anything up. The, about the only thing was, I did send Leslie. Is Leslie still here? Was she here? Yeah. Yeah. I sent Leslie um her email. I mean, I forget it was through the email or through Etsy, but I did send her uh, the copy of the pattern that she lost. Yes, she did get it. She said thank you. Oh, okay. And then Giovanna, is she here? Giovanna, no, I haven't seen her. She may be lurking, but she's okay. not in the chat. Yeah, I sent her um, the link to the rest of the thing. And did you get all of this out of your um, compost book? Yes, I did. Thank you very much. Wow. Yes. This. Hello. Hello. <laughs> And maybe that's it for now. I don't know how chunky this is all going to get. And then maybe put in one or two of these. Yes, I'll find out, Darla. I'm pretty sure I bought these. That's why I didn't include them because I couldn't. A couple of these are, are just freebies. 
I mean, not freebies, but you know, yeah, you know. What do you call those? Copy, copy free, copyright free. I don't see that stencil anywhere. It's a stamp. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stamp. Sorry about that. Why was I thinking stencil? I don't know. Maybe because it said jelly plate and you were thinking of stencils. I'm not sure. Maybe. You even showed them to me and I saw stencil. <laughs> okay, now see, I always overdo it. I think I've already overdone it. I might have to remove one of the one of the uh, signatures. I always do this. I overdo it and then I have to backtrack. Oh, wow. They have a, um, a wax stamp i mean the you know the thing you do the wax seals with mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. a peacock feather Ooh, neat i have um what do i have i have a couple of cool stamps for wax i gotta pull those out see what i have i forget what i have okay mm -hmm. i think you guys can probably already see i've got way too much here i bet you i do this that's how i end up with so many journals i go whoops I got to cut that in half, and then I make another one. I got to cut that in half before you know it. Instead of having two, I got five of them. <laughs> That's just how it goes. Although, that spine is pretty big. There's nothing shy about that spine. Oops, that already looks too big. Okay. Wow. Good night, Journey. Look at that. Good night, Journey. Thank you. Annie Mame said it looked like stencils, too. Really? Yeah. It's a stamp. See? That's the backside. Stamp. Um, that says seven, no, seven A or T A. I don't know what it says. Must have been who owned them before. It's not my initials. Nope. Not mine either. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Almost, almost perfect. Room to grow. Yeah. See, it's, it's not alligator yet and it'll be smaller once i put all those signatures the way they should be not just fold it up like that <laughs> the stamp noises what is that supposed to mean stamp noise did i think hey, janice noise? yeah you're going we <laughs> okay i don't know i don't know what i do half the time i don't watch my own videos that's the rusty peacock call Oh, okay. <laughs> WD-40, Earl. Okay, let's go. <laughs> well, Janice is here. So, Janice, who is the new Jeopardy host? Oh, yeah. Now, who is your vote? Who is it going to be? There's a difference. Unless you're voting for the winner. <laughs> Travis says, that's the sound Shinzi was making. <laughs> okay. I think I need to work on something else. I'm tired of looking at this right now. Wait there up. are three in the running, and the no-name producer is the front runner. Is that what she said? Yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. Who are the three? Name that tune. Do 
do do do do do That elephant has a square head. Yeah. Got a square butt, too. Yeah. That's because enough people don't ride him, and it's just kind of like leveling <laughs> off. If they rode him, he'd have a little lumpy do right there, and that would make a little puffy on either end. Ken Jennings, LeVar Burton, and this other guy can't remember his name. So who do you think is going to win? Well, everybody, at the, that first week, everybody went goo goo gaga over him. That's all I know. And I think you can goo goo gaga yourself into a pretty big paycheck. Who is Jordy? Who? Jordy. I Mike don't Richards. She said Mike Richards is his name, and it probably will be him. Oh, okay. Whoever wants the least amount. See, Terry wants Lavar. There you go. Like Lucy said, whoever wants the least amount of money. <laughs> I'm sorry, but where the heck? That's a lot of money those people win. Well, it's a lot of money that show makes. Well, there you go. All right. So, so far, this is what we got, ladies. And what I didn't realize is I used the same darn Canva quilt on both of these. <laughs> I didn't even think about that when I... When it doesn't even look the same, though. <laughs> yeah, because that part's not there. That part was the one that got cut off up here somewhere. And it's not like the same person is going to get both books. Right. Right. Exactly. Oh, LeVar is Jordy on Star Trek. He's the one that did all of the things on, um, uh, what was the name of that? On Sesame Street? He's the one that did all the, see, er, see, the reason why people wanted him is everybody that, all the different generations that watch Sesame Street and, and he was involved in that for like 30 years. So he's got those people, then he's got the Star Trek people. He's got a lot of, he's got a big fan, loyal fan base. Reading you know. Rainbow. There you go. Reading Rainbow. So he has a very uh, loyal base and a multi-generational fan base, basically. He was Kunta Kinte, too. Yeah, that's way back, though. Toby. Right? Huh? Toby. Toby who? What's your name, boy? Toby. Oh. <laughs> He wouldn't say it. He also does a lot of charity work. She thinks. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Well, then he don't have time to host Jeopardy. Well, he's older now. That's what he wants to do. I think that's like, he said it's a culmination of all the things that he had on his list that he wanted to do. Oh. Oh, my eyes are all watery. Well, then maybe he could be like the, like the, the David Letterman of Johnny Carson. Or, Ooh, that's low. No, I'm talking about who was the one that always that always covered for Johnny when he was out. I don't know the guy that's that now. I mean, that used to be there. What's his name? Besides Leno. Joan Rivers, Leno. Yes, I didn't like him. Who Leno? Yeah, I didn't really like any of them. <laughs> Yeah, he could be the next Mr. Rogers. There you go. <laughs> Mr. Jordy. What does what does Gene's question mean? That his aspiration to be a game show host isn't an aspiration? Is that is that the implication? I think well his his um his his answer to that was that he helped generations appreciate reading and learning. And he sees Jeopardy more like a highbrow show because of the type of questions. And you have to have a certain intellect 
unlike mine uh, to be able to, you know, do it. And I think he puts them all together. His love for learning and teaching. Okay, I didn't even see that that comment. So see, I'm that person must have me blocked. Who? Jane? Whatever you just said. Jane. I know, but I don't see that. Really? Uh-uh. Huh. That's Mr. Robinson's neighborhood. <laughs> That's when he wasn't in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> it is the funniest i think i don't know why you've already got your thumbnail do going and your hands folded it doesn't work anyway it doesn't do it i don't know how most people say well, let's get my thumbnail mine never does that leslie said she don't see jane's comment either so hey oh i'm glad oh, jane now says now do you see that jane says now i understand yeah. Oh, I wouldn't block you, Popo. <laughs> I love you, Jane. <laughs> yeah, I think anything that, that Eddie Murphy did on Saturday Night Live is just really, really funny. I think Susan just didn't want to read the comment. That's all. I didn't see it. I went back and looked. <laughs> Maybe you went too far. But I went too far and read all the way down. Oh, never mind. Okay, so what can I do maybe on this one? I don't want to work on that anymore. I'm tired of looking at it. Um, oh, I could sew this so it goes in there. She said he was Kunta Kinte, too. Yeah. And then she said... Oh, you're still trying to find it? And then she said, Go from the bottom up. Now I understand. Yeah, and I wouldn't going. block you, Popo. You got to go up. I did go up. And that's what she said. Go further up. I'm going. <laughs> he was Kunta Kinte, too. And then she said before that, Yes, that's, that's gonna bug her for. There's Giovanna. She's lurking. Hey, did and you check your said, email? She said, "You say underwear, I say under there." Oh, I don't even see that. <laughs> well, go up. <laughs> well, you're too far. And then she said, "I think it's common for horses not to like snakes. It's in well, all the westerns." You're, you're way too far. Yeah. See, I did that comment is not on my screen, and I'm on live chat. <laughs> It's right under Janice. It may be Houston because um, Leslie's not seeing it either. Where Janice says he's a good guy and should have his own show. Right underneath there is Jane. And she has it in capital letters. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I'm just going to do a little stitch -a on this so that this is done so we can stick that in there. And we can see that little thing is done. Yeah, that's weird. Huh. Hmm. That camel just has a very fancy stance. <laughs> oh, Leslie sees it. He is kind of fancy, isn't he? Yep. That is a real hot to trot look. Oh, Leslie said she exited and came back in, and now she sees it. Oh. Oh. Even stranger. Even stranger. These people at work are so crazy because at the the last paragraph of my offer letter today said that we are so excited by the thought of you joining the Axel Nobel team. Please indicate your desire to accept or reject this offer by clicking 
the appropriate button and signing electronically. I've been a member of your team for 16 years. <laughs> and if I have any questions, I could please contact my talent acquisition partner. Just say human resources. <laughs> Y'all are not that fancy. Man, everything's upsetting you. Maybe you shouldn't switch your job. Sounds Maybe. like you're getting stressed out. No. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting stressed out. Um, it went well, Jane. I think I'm gonna take it. I'm just gonna let him. I want to meet the new guy, the new boss. Even though he'll be my boss, even if I don't move positions. She wants him to grovel a little bit. No, I don't. Well, we have business partners too, but they're calling them talent acquisition people. <laughs> talent acquisition partners. Yeah, let them sweat. Like I was telling Rosemary, I'm just looking forward to the the vendor lunches and the the <laughs> Sean and David baskets at Christmas. Hey, at least you know what you want in your job. That's right. Some people. Some people don't know what they want. Hey, those are some good pears at Christmas time. I don't even like pears, but Betty loves them, so I bring them home to her. I'm just punching a hole in the middle. I'm not measuring. Do you ever? Rarely. Only if something has to be dead center for something to work well then i will i like that lady you put on the back of the book like she's looking back oops is that the taj mahal on the front or is that africa <laughs> no you're right okay for once was it the taj mahal a gift to that man's woman or something yeah yeah one of the seven wonders. Is that real metal on your spine or is that just on the picture? It's just on the picture. Oh, wow. A memorial to his wife, a mausoleum for his death. Well, yeah, that's it. That's it. The two smart girls come in neck and neck with the same answer. <laughs> hey, man. See, when they're here, I don't have to do as much Googling. Well, see, that's why I was, I'm never good at Jeopardy. So I know the answer, but I'm never fast enough. I'm slow on the draw. You need Mary's needle. Oh no. I have enough problems. <laughs> that was a long needle she had. It's still not as big as the one I have upstairs. <laughs> Oh gosh. I have a 12 inch. And what do you do with that? Upholstery things? No, oh, I think it's in an upholstery kit. But you know, if you start sewing like on this tapestry fabrics and stuff, mm -hmm. it comes in handy. Okay, so that's done. Well, that was quick. Yeah, it was just a pamphlet stitch. No big deal. That's ready to go. 
Why are you typing with one finger, Kathy? Showing off. Oh. Or sympathy pains. She said typing with one finger slows her down. Or maybe she's on her phone. She's just... Terry went to the doctor and he said that she's, she is healing well and that he thinks it's going to stay attached and she can get it wet and Jar bought her a jelly plate so she can she, now play. And she should not be clapping. No, no clapping. No clapping. I All hope right. her lamps aren't powered by the clapper. <laughs> Maybe she can stomp. <laughs> she can stomp. No, she'll be like, Jar, turn the light on. <laughs> yeah, she's doing well. I like that bright spot on there. Yeah. Kind of cool. Kind of like the Serengeti sunset. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is. <laughs> oh, she said, that's my skill level on this small screen. Yeah, you can't you can't type like you're on a QWERTY typewriter on your cell phone. No. Richard got this, um, I don't know, some plug-in thing. And so he's got, he used to have this small little, um, um, pad, not, no, what am I trying to think? You know, yeah, I guess it is a pad for him to type on, you know, if he wanted to do something on his, on his, um, on his uh, phone, because, you know, it takes him forever. Boom, 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 boom on his phone. He's, uh, he says, my fingers are too stubby and fat. You know, <laughs> And, um, because when those guys are at the meetings, you know, he's watching the meeting live and he's at home like a Spengali. And so a subject comes up and, brrr, and he, you know, he'll text them, ask him this, ask him that. You know? <laughs> and so he got this thing that he hooks up now to his big keyboard that attaches to his phone so that he can do his, his, um, his messaging. Wow. Light, light, lightning fast. So. Well, you know, now they just have Kathy D. When you're in the chat box, if you'll hit the microphone, you can just speak it, but proof it before it goes. Yeah. My husband says his, that would take twice as long for him because then you have to read it. <laughs> oh, Kathy said if she uses a microphone, it causes a really bad lag. Hmm. Well, then that wouldn't work for him either. Because he's got to, they got to ask the question before the person's finished talking or else it doesn't make its impact. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, people. Good night, ma'am. Good night. So, I'm going to, in the interim, go over some of the colors. And maybe fill in some spots or add something or something. I don't know yet. Might even just leave them the way they are. I really, really don't know. But we do have one, two, three, four, five signatures. And I probably will put them all because it's, you know, it's chunky, but that's okay. We like the chunkiness. And then I'll be looking for um the, the printouts and put them we'll put them on some of those pages and everything and get that all done and um, I think what I want to do I think it would look really pretty do you remember okay who when did we do that I mean, must have done it for hmm Susan when did we do the cover in metal was that was that Frida in metal yeah, where we we put the metal tape on there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think for India because India is known for its uh, silver mines, so I think that would be really something really cool to do. So I think we'll do a cover, you know, with some of that tape, 
and show how to do that for those because that's already that was over a year ago we did that one right that was the year before right that was like february or march of 2020 okay so there's quite a few here that haven't seen that done so yeah so i think i'll do that so if you're interested in playing along um either gets like some aluminum foil you know from your kitchen but the thicker one how yeah, there's different thicknesses get the thick one or you can get let me find my tape to show you duct tape no no the real the no. real duct tape not no. not the fiber duct tape no don't listen to her whatever <laughs> It's metal tape. And it's not by the duck company. It's metal tape. I didn't say it was by the duck company. I said it was the real duct tape. No. Real duct tape is just gray. No. This is silver. Silver. So mm -hmm. you, you can find this in your... Thank you. Aluminum tape for ducting. <laughs> Stop it. Jane said that. Jane can say whatever she wants. Thank you, Darla. She's saying <laughs> duct tape. <laughs> Not okay. wank, wank. <laughs> oh, thank you, CB from Texas. Super oh, right. They're, they're <laughs> turning on me. <laughs> Lucy, I know what you mean, Susan. It is for ducks. <laughs> yes, it is for ducks. I thought she was talking about the duct tape. Never mind. Kathy D, sorry, you were correct, Susan. I love y'all. I apologize. I'm sorry. I love y'all. I can be sorry when I'm wrong. I thought you were talking about duct tape. But yeah, if you do tape. say duct tape, people are going to go get that gray fiber stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But you can get this, you know, like any of your home goods center type places like Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon. Uh, yeah, they, I'm sure they do have it. Yeah, they do. Okay. So, yeah, anywhere you can get it. It's not, I mean, if you're just going to use it for one project, it's not practical because it's a little expensive. But if you're going to make like a whole book or, you know, several books or something, then go for it. Last time I bought it, it was only about, I say only, but I was around fourteen dollars or something i don't know what it is now but your alcohol inks work good on that too yes they do yes they They're do beautiful they look beautiful so if you want to play around with that uh we'll be playing with we'll we'll do something with that next week i love you too jane <laughs> see how much they care about you oh yeah i love them yeah still from a construction site <laughs> i know that's where i want to get my tyvek from you probably have this at work you um, probably have so much stuff in your warehouse we may have it over in the maintenance shop but i don't go over there oh that's where all the good stuff is that's right cb it's good to use on tags that you emboss Mm -hmm. very cool that is very cool that you have to have that in your collection yeah it just makes everything look cool what i thought would be really neat with this also is these right here these little small things if we got a piece and embossed anything or did your embossing by hand or by machine or whatever it is you've got and then put those in here wouldn't that look cool as you tag oh wow yeah. And you guys have these in your kit. So, and even if you don't want to go buy it, you can still do it with your, with your aluminum foil. The heavy duty. The heavy duty. Rudy Tooty. Chavez said that her, that Jar and her found a huge box of that on the side of the road about 20 years ago. We hauled it home in the tiniest car and the box was about the same size as the car. <laughs> Must have fell off a truck, huh? Girl, you could have made a killing on a live sale with that. Yeah. yeah. See, how much could she charge a yard? Hmm. Yeah. Have to ask Pearl. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> Pearl would know how much to sell this for <laughs> Or a fat quarter. I don't know which. <laughs> <laughs> and if you run out, Terry, you can make a list and run back over and get some. <laughs> That's what I love about Pearl. If she if she oversells her stuff, she's like, "Oh no, I, I I can go get some more. I'll take. Let me have your names." <laughs> and she is she's buzzing all over the place. She buys out her Hobby Lobbies all over around where she lives. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> She keeps them open. I think if she stopped selling, they'd have to close a couple of those stores up. She kept them going through the COVID. Mm-hmm. Yep. And she didn't even pick up curbside. She went in. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she was going in all the time. Like, was oh she God. now? Yeah. <laughs> wow. She's a character. I have some of that tape upstairs. Maybe you could train the dog to go up there and go get it. Lucy says, I wish she would sell what is in her storage units. Yeah, she's got a couple of them. Who knows Who knows all the real stuff that's in there? Don't get no ideas, Kathy D. You know she's got stuff that she hasn't told us. <laughs> Right, and by the time she goes and gets it out, it's all going to have be chewed up by rats. <laughs> uh, yeah, her kids want her to get rid of all that stuff, so she well, does every sale. Yeah, but no, she doesn't get rid of everything. She brings new stuff to take. She want they want it where she can like move around. But she never can because when she gets her old sells old stuff, she's already got something to take its place. It's just like a, you know, one of those. Oh, Lucy said she did combine her storage units into one. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Yeah, Kathy's got lots of stuff. She's got a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> You'll have to give us a sale, Kathy. <laughs> You have to write it out like a auction catalog, and then we'll see what we want. <laughs> or she can put it in a U-Haul and haul it to the rusty peacock shack and <laughs> have a live sale there. Bring I'll, have to get a, I'll have to get a unit just to stir the stuff. You can just set your camera up in the back of the truck and just do it from there. Oh, yeah. There's a thought. Yeah, That's but she, she can't get her house empty, Lucy. <laughs> it just keeps piling up. Poor Pearl. Poor Pearl. I don't know. Okay, ladies. She needs to practice FIFO. Excuse me? First in, first out. Oh. I need to practice that. Keep your inventory fresh. How many people? Yeah, how many people here buy stamps? Because I I'm I'm we, gonna go weed through all of my stamps. Postage stamps or rubber stamps or rubber stamps, acrylic stamps. I know which ones I use all the time, and I'm only gonna keep those. The rest of them, um, I'm gonna put them like in lots together, I guess. Carla said me. Leslie said me. Okay, then I've got the crowd. Okay, well, one day. Kathy said she can bring a carload at a time. Terry <laughs> Chavez said me. All right. Terry can only have the rubber ones. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> because see what I do sometimes, like, they might be selling, like, five together and there's only one there that I really really want but it's worth you know me paying for it because hopefully I figure well maybe I could sell the other ones so it's all those other ones you know and and then some that I have bought for myself thinking I would use them and then I didn't um, but I've isolated it down to the ones that I you know use you know repeatedly Lucy has enough I want the new stuff I want the new Tim stamps of the guy faces with the hats. I want those. 
Oh, I see. I don't even know what those are. Yep. I don't know too much new stuff because I don't want to buy any more. I have a lot of stamps upstairs on those wood blocks, but it's like scenic crap. Oh, see, those are the ones I like. This, I'll show you here. Oh, I've got a few over here that I Good need. night, Mary. Thanks for listening. Good night, Mary. Oh, good thing we didn't talk about her while she was still here. She doesn't stream on Friday mornings, though, so why is she leaving so early? I don't know. See, I like these. Yeah, me too, Leslie. They are expensive. Are you talking about the Timmy stamps? Yes. Mm -hmm. And now, I, like I like that, these. but I'm talking about, this is like, uh, I like trees and little, yeah. little birds. Yep. Oh, she has a good, she has a hop tomorrow. Oh, happy hopping. Oh, she's sleepy. We'll let you go to sleep, Mary. And I like this one too. See, I have these in a little box close to me because I do use them more than the other ones. And then I like to use, um, I like the little birdies. So that's kind of like what I gravitate. And then there's certain words I have. I have a lot of different words, but I don't use them. There's just certain ones that I use. I like my feathers. Oh, nope. The hop is August 13th. Oh, she's going to bed too early for the hop. <laughs> Get her. Wake her up. Wake her up. And then I like this one because you, here's the here's the trunk, and then this one has like a little nest with small little birds. This has bigger birds. Kathy D said, "Oh, Rosemary, I have a lot of that type of stamps." Those are the ones I like. And then the other, my other favorite ones, I'll show you. Type the type. Uh oh, Mary Beth is the one. Spreading that rumor that your hop is tomorrow. <laughs> those are expensive, Suzanne. Those blocks, wood stamps from India. And then the other type. Where are they? They're right here. It is. And it turns out, I think that most of the ones that I like are the wood ones. Oh, well, there's some other ones that I like. But they end up being usually the, the mounted ones. It's kind of, kind of funny. Where did my other ones go? Where did those go? I just was playing with them. Uh-oh, I forgot where I put them. I clear everything off when the live comes on, so I forget where I put my But I like art ones like these. Those kind. And where are those other ones? Where they I have one deep red stamp, but I can't remember what it is. And I had to have it. Yeah, they're nice. I like them. My favorite stamps are the, what are they? The Mont, Mont Blancs? What? Oh, and then the, the ones that, that I just recently bought, those that type. I guess you would call them more like art, art ones. Those are more the ones that I like. So that's the ones that all more most of most of them. There's a few that I that are kind of arts like that that I don't use. So those a few of them I'll, I'll get rid of, but most of those I'll keep. But then I got a whole bunch of other kinds. It's not Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc is a pen or something. They're Mont something. They're very steampunky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those, Lucy. And then there's a whole bunch that are just, they're just discontinued. You I know? love Lavinia. They don't even make them anymore. A lot of the cool ones. So if you do find them, they're very expensive. Yes, the white ones, Darla. I have a bunch of those upstairs. Need to know what? 
Did you show what? Terry the moon face? Huh? The moon face. Yeah. She said, ooh, show us the moon face. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 the one. Oh, the steampunk brand. That's the that's the white ones. The uh, help me out, darling. What is that called? I don't remember. Oh, she's typing. Oh, who? Me? You? Yeah, I'm looking. But when I put that in, door, I'm not familiar with that. Not familiar with them. I can't remember. <laughs> Nobody can. It has Mont something. I hate it. <laughs> but there, but it's like it'll be like a table, or um. Mm. I got these other ones in the back. Let me get them real quick. I was flying around. Um, what are they called? Somebody's probably typing it in while I'm looking for it. And see, the ones that I keep, too, the ones I use a lot, they're the ones I use when I do my encaustic. And like these, I like, see, I have those, too. I like that. Back room door has some cool ones too, Lucy said. They're kind of messed up because I, I use a lot of junk on them. <laughs> well, let me just look at my dadgum eBay account. Dadgum it. I like that one. eBay. eBay. My eBay. My Her eBay. Last 30 years. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, look, Popo, a novel. <laughs> <laughs> You're a novelty, all right. I bought that. I buy too much crap from eBay. That's for damn sure. Uh -uh, it won't go back that far. Suzanne says Blue Fern Studios have white stamps. Nope, that's not it. Okay. These are... It'll only go back to 2018. Maybe you changed account numbers. Nope, did not. Oh, well. Thought if I clicked on buy again, it would show them. <laughs> There's my Timmy Kling stamps. Oh, this goes back further. Hang on. Lord have mercy. They're not there. Oh, here they are. LeBlanc. Oh, you said that. No, I said Montblanc. Oh, <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> they are. I'm going to put it in chat. LeBlanc. Okay. <laughs> wah, wah. LeBlanc foam rubber. It 
There you go. La Blanche. La Blanche. Oh, I will write that down. Yeah, so like if you go to eBay, you can get like, I got like 20 of them and they're white. White stamps. But then it would just be like, like a like a lady standing there in a dark dress or it'll be um, like a violin or it'll be like a and there are these super expensive or no they're not, they're not super expensive hmm I can't see the price on them because they don't have that set that I bought but yeah LeBlanc how did I do that how'd you do what I've been that dude it's from the book I bought you. I know. It's the map. It's the beginning of the map. Oh, no. In the morning when you get up, check your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> Tell Richard to check your, check your butt for what a map. For? Oh, a map. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go, what am I looking for, Rosemary? You got ticks? <laughs> Thank you, CB. The name means the white. Le Blanc. There you go. Oh, well, the ridiculous price, shipping prices to you, though. Yeah. Yeah, the lady with the tattooed map. Lisa likes the deep red stamps. Yeah, I do, too. What did you touch? I have no idea. This is so weird. I just noticed it. It could be a rash. <laughs> Symmetrical rash. <laughs> it's a crafting rash. I don't know, but it's starting to look like African to me. That's all I know. <laughs> it's Hannah. There you go. Oh, yeah, Hannah. Okay. That's That sounds better. We're in India. Okay. I'm, right. okay. I'm okay with it now. Okay. Yeah. Cool. The mystery is solved. Awesome. Awesome. We well, got some pretty cool stamps right there. See that one that's under that face? That looks like what would be on the Mont Blanc. I mean, not Mont Blanc. La Blanc. <laughs> this is the one you guys bought me. Or so you said. Yeah. What do you mean, so I said? So, can you stamp your stuff and send it to the next person in line and then... They'll forward it to the next person in the group. And yeah, they'll right. They'll make Been it there, happen. done that. <laughs> Got a half done journal because of it. Yeah. Not ever doing that. If you send something to somebody, you just in your mind, you've given it to them. <laughs> oh, look at You Cassie better D. not want it back. That's all I can say. <laughs> Cassie D so like a detective. She said, is that the holes from the paper you were jail printing? Well, that's what I thought, but I didn't, um, I still don't know how I would have gotten it. Unless, I don't know. I have no idea. Weird. Sock monkey stamp would be cool. <laughs> I love sock monkeys. They are cute. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're a little creepy. Yeah, I'm very creepy. I mean, for me anyway. I have a sock monkey jack in the box. <gasps> Janice Whoa. said the color is very much like the stuff on the paper under the cigar box. Oh, only I never even had this out though. That's part of a, a wedding invitation from India. That's not paint. Sorry. Ah, ha, ha. A double joke. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 Little India humor there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh <-huh. laughs> Okay, ladies, I think I'm ready for another pill. Oh my I God. think you are. I, I'm all clogged up. I can't breathe anymore. <laughs> Plus, it's Susan's bedtime. 
go get you some habanero ice cream. That will uncover. Oh, I wish. I can't find it no more. I'm very upset. I don't know why you brought it up. That's why I said go get you some of that jalapeno <laughs> mango juice. Oh, no, that's okay. I'll pass. All right. <laughs> well, you can pour it over oh, vanilla ice cream. Oh, Janice says she wasn't here earlier, so that's why she thought that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there had to be a reason. She said. <laughs> yeah, she. there had to be a good reason because, you know, she wasn't going to make a mistake like that. No. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So you're off the hook, Janice. Everything's a okay. <laughs> awesome. Good night, Terry. All right, you guys. See you guys soon. See how much I get done on this. You know, it's just you all know already how to sew in signatures, so you have to be watching that. So we'll see. Get your your duct tape, and we'll play. Sounds all right. good. Tabasco sauce. All right. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, thank ladies. You. Thank you. And we'll see you soon. All right. Don't buy anything. Okay. Bye. Good night. Unless it's a little she shed.